In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we treat ankle tendonitis. So we have Renee here. She's actually dealing with a, an acute issue in her ankle. So what we have going on in her situation is the muscles on the inside of her uh, lower leg, they wrap around the inside of her ankle. And what happens is from posture, running, walking, excess of stress on that uh, muscle over time can cause the muscle to become tight. And then it can cause a lot of pressure on the tendon where it goes around the ankle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the top treatments I use in the office to help relieve the ankle tendonitis. Okay, so with Renee's issue, this is the muscle we're treating here. It's called the tibialis posterior. It runs on the back of your shin and it goes down here. The tendon starts to wrap around the ankle bone here and then attaches on the foot. So this is gonna be on the inside portion of your leg. So a lot of times people that have flatter feet, their ankles tend to roll in more and they're more susceptible for this. Also, if you're a runner or you walk a lot um, or if you do any um, jumping type of exercises or activities, that's gonna put a lot more stress on the inside too. First thing, make sure you're wearing good footwear. If you have um, orthotics, make sure you're using those because that'll help reduce some of the strain and stress on that area while it's healing. To treat this condition, what we need to do is we need to loosen up the muscle here in the belly, the tibialis posterior. Then what we need to do is we actually need to treat the tendon that wraps around the ankle because this is where all the pain is. And then we need to strengthen that muscle so it, it stops becoming a problem and to help strengthen that tendon. The first treatment we're gonna do to help relieve that muscle tension in the tibialis posterior is called dry needling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a couple um, acupuncture needles into the tight area. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna help to relax that muscle and to help break up any of that tension in that muscle belly. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna palpate the muscle and find where the tight spot is. So all along this is pretty sensitive on her, especially as I get towards the ankle here. So there's a couple spots in here that I'm gonna treat. And a lot of times when we do this, you'll get a little twitch of the muscle that's completely normal. And a lot of times it'll also reproduce some of the discomfort you have. But this is a highly effective way to help get into that muscle to help relieve a lot of that pressure on the ankle and to help loosen up that muscle. Okay, it's a very quick treatment. The needles are already out. What that's gonna do is it's gonna loosen up the muscle and help take pressure off the tendon where it goes around your ankle. The next treatment we're gonna use to help relieve um, ankle tendonitis is called shockwave therapy. So shockwave therapy sends an acoustic sound wave into the tendon to help break up any scar tissue, loosen up any muscle tension, and help stimulate the healing process in the tendon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up higher in the muscle belly and then work down around the ankle here to help um, break up any of that scar tissue and to loosen it up and to help stimulate the tendon to heal. What Renee's gonna feel is a little tapping sensation. That's me applying the shock wave over the area. Now it's kind of interesting um, with this technique because it's diagnostic in nature too. She'll feel discomfort um, when we get over the problem area. Normal area, she won't feel a whole lot. She'll just feel a tapping. But when we get over a problem area in the tendon, it'll be a little sore and achy when we get there. And now we're gonna apply the shockwave treatment over the belly of the tibialis posterior. And I'm going right along the back portion of the shin here. And again, to any of the really tight spots, you'll feel some deep, dull achiness in this area. And sometimes it'll refer pain down to where the uh, problem spot is around the ankle. This is a great treatment if you've been dealing with a chronic ankle issue. A lot of times what will happen, once you get beyond the acute tendonitis phase, it turns into what they call tendinosis or tendinopathy. What that is, it's a weakening of the uh, tendon and it's a breakdown of that normal structure of the tendon, which doesn't allow it to have strength, which can cause like a lot of pain and flare ups in that area there. The next area we wanna apply the shock wave is gonna be right around the ankle bone there. So this inside malleolus here, we're gonna treat that here. And so the tendon, again, it wraps right around this area. This is often where people are gonna have a lot of their pain and discomfort. You may have swelling in this area. 
With this condition, I would recommend you ice this area after you do an activity where it's really painful or swollen. That's You wanna ice it for about 10 minutes, take it off for about 30 minutes and reapply it on and off like that a few times and that will help to get down some of the swelling. This is really gonna help stimulate that tendon to heal and help to fix this problem completely. And again, the problem area in the tendon is gonna feel sore and achy when we're doing this treatment. Whereas if I go up here, she's not gonna feel a whole lot, but over the problem site, it's gonna be dull and achy. And as I treat it, it will get better. Typically, with this technique, we use about five to six treatments and patient's doing a lot better at that point. So the shockwave therapy is another treatment we use to help relieve um, ankle tendonitis. The next treatment we're gonna use to treat Achilles tendonitis is called active release technique. So with the active release technique, what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna shorten the muscle and then we're gonna lengthen the muscle. And while I'm pressing on that part of the muscle or tendon, it's gonna help to stretch that out, help break up any scar tissue, and to help loosen up the muscle and take the pressure off. To do ART on this muscle, we're gonna start in this kind of pointed toe uh, position here, and then I'm gonna assist her foot and then go into dorsiflexion like that. And then I'm gonna contact the muscle where the problem is, and we're gonna work this tissue. And when we get in over an area where there's a problem, Often patients know it's, it's the site and they say it kind of hurts good, like that's the spot. With an ankle tendonitis, this is an important treatment to help take the pressure off of the muscle and the ankle. And I'm gonna work all the way up her calf here where the tibialis posterior travels. So certain areas in her muscle are really tight, and so we're kind of focusing on them. Okay. Now, this should not be painful when we do this treatment. A lot of times, though, when you're dealing with this kind of an injury, this will be very sensitive, um, but this will definitely help fix this condition. Now you can imagine if you're a runner or you're an athlete, we're putting a lot of pressure on this inside portion of the muscle. It gets a lot of strain on it. So it's tough when we're treating an, when we're treating this condition, we have to modify some of our activities to help reduce that stress while it is healing. Now you often don't have to completely eliminate any of your activities, but we just have to modify them so that it gives it a chance to heal in between the treatments. Typically, I'll treat this um, two to three times a week for about um, eight to 10 visits. And usually that's enough to help decrease the pain and allow that tendon to heal. So active release technique is a great treatment for any kind of ankle tendonitis or an ankle sprain. The final treatment we're gonna apply for any kind of ankle tendonitis is called laser therapy. So laser therapy basically helps to reduce any inflammation in that tendon and helps to speed up the healing process by increasing the blood flow to the area. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna trace that muscle all the way down and focus in around the tendon where it's a problem and then into the bottom of our foot. This does not hurt, this feels like a good soothing warm sensation. So we like to do this last because if there is any irritation from the treatment before, this will help to calm that down and again, kind of jumpstart that healing process. So you'll see on the video here, there's a red light um, where the actual laser is being um, deployed. And inside there is gonna be the, inside there is actual the actual laser. So that will show up as a, a white circle. I'm not sure if it can be picked up on the camera, but that's the actual um, laser itself. And the red light just shows you where you're being applying the treatment here. So we're gonna go up and down this whole area to help reduce any swelling, to help calm that tendon down. Again, this feels really good for the patient. If there is any irritation or swelling in there, this really accelerates that healing process and gets down any swelling. So laser therapy is a great treatment for any kind of ankle tendonitis. So that's what a typical treatment for any ankle tendonitis looks like. We can apply this to the, the muscles on the outside of the ankle as well, or any muscles in the front or posterior part as well, or any kind of Achilles tendonitis. They all are very similar in terms of how we would treat that. Once we get the patient out of pain and we want to strengthen those muscles in her lower leg, so what we're going to do is we're going to take like a smaller ball, one you can get from the dollar store, something like that size. What we want to do is we want to put it between her lower legs here. And what Renee's gonna do is she would gently compress on the ball. And what Renee would do is she would compress her legs together, squeeze that ball for about 10 seconds, 
relax. Do that three or four times. And then what we'll do is we'll start up higher, kind of towards the knees, and I'll work our way lower down as, until we get to the ankles. The ankles, when we do it down there, is gonna be the most amount of stress. So we wanna work up to that. If we do it too quickly, it'll cause some discomfort. But that's a great way to help strengthen that uh, tibialis posterior, to help that tendon heal up completely. So if you're suffering from any ankle tendonitis, give my office a call at 703-912-7822 or schedule online at novacarewellness.com.